what up this your boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise and we got another brief intro on there now if you can see on the screen I know some of my old hip hop heads probably excited as hell on this one yes I know you guys are gonna hate me I put T Grizzly on top of Raekwon this isn't a rating list of how good the artist is this just it, it's 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 overall everything whether they got big cosigns whether they continue to get features um whether they consistently drop album their popularity uh, this is the definitive list for hip-hop artists that you have to listen to period you know uh, again I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack uh, Raekwon's on here at least, you know what I mean? Like Raekwon from Wu Tang, the original posse group of hip hop. Now, Raekwon, the reason why I don't have Ghostface is because Ghostface don't have, he's not featured on enough projects. Raekwon's featured on enough projects. Um, he drops at a consistent enough rate for me to. Be able to put him on a brief intro. Um, who else was there? Rizzo don't have enough albums or features, and the rest of them aren't really as known as much. I, I tried to work Master Killer in here, just couldn't. But Raekwon, Raekwon works. Oh, and Method Man, Method Man, Method Man is a little too inconsistent. But you know. As you guys can see, we got a legendary, a classic album, a classic album, right in front of your face right now, only built for Cuban links. Now this is when Wu-Tang Clan was at their, their peak, they were at their highest, uh, their, their hype was at an all time high. Wu-Tang had dropped the album back in 93, the Posse Cut. Got a lot of praise for it. 92, 93. Uh, 94, Method Man came out with To Call. 95, Old Dirty Bastard came out with his album. Return to the 36 Chambers. Raekwon came out with his album. I think it was only Old Dirty Bastard and Raekwon. Uh, Rizzo was on a production. Yeah, I think it was only those two. Uh, then Ghostface came out in 96 and the rest of them. Uh, to be honest, nobody cares about the rest of them. Uh, we love Wu-Tang. No, we love you guys. Um, all my Wu-Tang heads still know the rest of them. But let's go over the features. Now, this is a posse cut. Kind of like what 2 Chainz did with Lil Wayne. Uh, most of the features has Ghostface. You got You God, Blue Raspberry, Inspector Deck, Jizza, Capadonna, Blue Raspberry, Master Killer, 60 Second Assassin. The only outside feature is Nas. Uh, Method Man, Rizza, Old Dirty Bastard, Papa Wu. A lot of hip hop infused with. Chinese, Japanese culture, you know, that's what Wu Tang's all about. I mean, if you can't tell by the name, then you know. Uh, after that, all the Wu Tang members came out with their albums, yada yada. We fast forward to 1999. Uh, Raekwon, a lot has happened in those four years. Uh, Raekwon re it releases Mo Bilarity. A mobile Larry, 1999. Uh, I think by this time New York rap was on the decline. It was definitely on a decline. With Jay Z coming in with Big Pimp in the the South, the South was start. The South, the South been taking over since the late 90s. The South, the South is the king of hip hop. Period. You know they they took over since the nine late 90s. Um, New York created it. You know, I'm not going to forget that. But let's go over the features. 
American Cream Team, Big Bub, Kim Stevens, Method Man, Massacilla, and that's about it. This is a true New York album. Um, true New York album. Now we got the Lex Diamond story. Next up to bat, the, by 2003 the game has completely changed, completely changed. Uh, Raekwon comes out with this outing. He outsources himself a little more. Reminds me of Snoop Dogg. Everybody was with their posses back in the 90s. And by the early 2000s, it was all about being featured on other people's projects. And Kanye West came in and blew that out the storm. So let's go over the features. We got Polite, Havoc, Ghostface Killer, Fat Joe, Ice Water Inc., Inspector Deck, Master Killer, Capadonna, Method Man, Tiffany Villarreal, Capone, Sheik Luch, Ultra, and Takitha. So yeah, he got a couple. He got a couple people. He got a couple of legendary New York rappers up in here. So now we got only Bill for Cuban Links too. I I pushed it down to the 2007 release to give Raekwon a four-year album release or a, a four-year gap on every album. Now. Only built for Cuban links, dope as hell too. Let's go over the features. Papa Wu, Ghost Faith Killer, Method Man, Inspector Deck, Jada Kiss, Styles P, Benny Siegel, some legends, man. Blue Raspberry, Capadonna, Life Jennings. I almost forgot about Life Jennings. Jizza, Master Killer, The Game. Bun B and Stone Mecca. See, so it's it's mostly the, the Wu Tang members, couple outsiders. Wu Tang's a very tight knit group. Now if you see by this album, ooh, this album cover is so fucking dope. Uh, this is the next album, Shaolin vs. Wu Tang. 2011. By this time the game has completely fucking changed from the 90s completely changed but you know Raekwon's still out we got Method Man, Ghostface Killer, Inspector Deck, Estelle, Busta Rhymes, DJ Khaled, The Game, Pharrell, Busta Rhymes, Nas, Method Man, Raheem Devon, Lloyd Banks, Rick Ross, Black Thought, Jizza, Killer Priest, and Havoc. Raekwon's not much of a singles guy either. I think his first album had a single, uh, Ice Cream. Everybody knows that song. But other than that, that's about it. Now we got Fila. Raekwon's sixth studio album. Now this is this is where he had... Let, let's go over the feature list. We got Ghostface Killer, ASAP Rocky, French Montana, Busta Rhymes, Two Chains, Snoop Dogg, Melanie Fiona, Assassin, Rick Ross, Estelle, Liz Rodriguez, Faith Evans, and Freddie Gibbs. So, in talking about this album, Ray Raekwon is basically saying, "Oh, this is gonna be his biggest album. Um, he's he got features from all over the place. The only Wu Tang member on here really is Ghostface." I think so, yeah, Ghostface. And he went with that. The single on here is About You. Pretty good single. Now we got his seventh album. I pushed it back. I pushed it up to 2019. I think it came out 2017. I pushed it to 2019 to honor the four-year gap for Raekwon. Let's go over the features. 
Ghostface Killer, Stilo, Lil Wayne, Pure, Andre Day, Bebe Rexa, and Jeezy. You can see that album cover. Yeah, this is 2019. 2019. Um, so yeah, this is Raekwon, legendary Wu-Tang member. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like Raekwon? Do you hate Raekwon? Do you know who Raekwon is? Were you curious as to Ray who Raekwon was? Because you seen him on the DJ Khaled album? Or you seen his name before? Let me know if you got any questions. Anyway, peace.